Hello and welcome to a session of profit and loss. Profit and loss, a straight application of percentage. Let's see how and what are the major things in profit and loss. There's something called profit. Now what is a profit? If I buy something, I'm buying it what? Cost price? This is my cost price. Someone else is selling price. I do, it doesn't matter, but it is my cost price. So I am buying a X item at a cost price. I'm selling it something which is called a selling price. So my cost price and my selling price. The difference between the two, if it's a profit, means if I make some money, then it's a profit. If it's a loss making or it's if I'm losing something, then it's a loss. So cost price, selling price, profit, which I'm making and loss, which I'm losing. The profit percentage, as in the profit amount on top of the cost price that I have is called the profit percentage. A loss percentage, if I'm making a loss, on top of the cost price is called the loss percentage. There's something called margin. Profit sometimes is also called margin. Marked price. A lot of times we see discounts. In stores, there's something called a marked price. So an item is there for 5,000 rupees. We are giving you a 50% off at 2,500 rupees. So 5,000 is the marked price and selling price is 2,500. What is markup? So when you say, when you start putting prices which is more than the cost price, it is called marking it up. Discounting, when we price it lesser than the selling in the marked price, then it is called the discount. So if the marked price is higher and the selling price is lower, it's called the discount. Let's understand them slightly better here. Selling price is nothing but cost price plus the profit or selling price is equal to cost price plus the margin. So profit and margin are typically used alternatively. Mostly profit is used. Other way around, if I'm making a loss, selling price equals the cost price minus the loss. Let's include marked price in the equation. So there's something called marked price minus the discount. So 5,000, which is the marked price minus the discount, which is 50%, whatever, gives us the selling price of 2,500 rupees, which is nothing but the cost price minus the loss or plus the profit. Mark price minus the markup is equal to the cost price, which means that the markup amount that we put from cost price, if we subtract it from the mark price, we should get the cost price. Now these are the basic things that we will use. Let's understand the percentage part of it also. So selling price is nothing but cost price plus the profit percentage into cost price. Or in other terms, the profit percentage is nothing but selling price minus cost price on the base of cost price. Now that is my base. My costing is my base. Similarly, if you do, if you make a loss, the cost price is more than the selling price. So cost price minus the selling price upon the cost price. This is how percentage cost price, percentage profit, percentage loss is actually calculated. Let's look at some applications. A man loses 20% by selling an article for 450. At what price should he sell in order to make a profit of 25%? Let's recollect what we did in the percentage class. We converted all of these percentages into fractions. So 20% becomes 1 upon 5, 25% becomes 1 upon 4. So 20% loses, which means that he loses 1 upon 5. So that becomes 1 minus 1 upon 5. So 4 upon 5 times the cost price is equal to 450. Now what we need to do is make a profit of 25%. So profit of 25% is nothing but 1 plus 1 by 4, which is 5 by 4 times the cost price. So cost price, let's go back to the earlier equation. CP cost price is equal to 450 into 5 upon 4. So here 450 into 5 upon 4 into another 5 upon 4 will give us the final selling price in order to make a profit of 25%. That comes to 703 rupees approximately. Rajiv sold an article for 56 rupees, which cost him X rupees. If he gained X percentage on his outlay, what was his cost? Now here, everything is in X. Let's look at the formula. Selling price is equal to 1 plus the profit percentage, whole thing multiplied to the cost price. So what do we do? Selling price is 56. 1 plus the profit percentage. Profit percentage is X. So 1 plus X upon 100, whole thing multiplied by X. Let's simplify this equation. It becomes x square plus 100x minus 5600 equal to 0. Solving, we get two options, 40 and minus 140. Now, minus 140 is not possible. 
because the price cannot be negative or the cost price cannot be negative. So the answer here is 40. So the cost price is 40 and the profit percentage is also 40. Let's take another example. A trader makes a profit equal to the selling price of 75 articles when he sold 100 articles. Find his percentage profit. Now we come to know that the profit is equal to the selling price of 75 articles. Let's put it in the simple equation. Selling price equals cost price plus the profit. So selling price, let's assume the selling price to be SP of one article. So 100 articles, 100 SP is the total selling price. That equals 100 into CP. Now CP is the cost price of each and every article. So 100 SP is equal to 100 CP plus the profit. Now profit is nothing but selling price of 75 articles. So that becomes plus 75 SP. Now sampling this, it will be 25 SP is equal to 100 CP. We get the answer that is SP upon CP is equal to 4. Now which is nothing but 300% profit. This is how we understand the simple applications of profit and loss and percentages combined.